So then you start vlogging again because people enjoyed the vlogs and I don't post enough anymore. So we'll, we'll start now. Uh, just did a PT test. So I'm half dead. I'm not going to feed you right now. But let's see what Zuri is doing. Because now that I'm home from PT, should be about time for her to be waking up. What are you doing? Oh, uh, someone's in a grumpy mood, aren't you? Say hi. Can you say hi? You stink. Let's change you. Come on. You go see Dachi? And Ari? Alright, let's go. Oof! What's that? It's, oh, I forgot we had stairs. Oh, this is so great. You ever do a crazy exercise? And then you walk upstairs and you're like, oh yeah, that was nothing. And then you go to walk downstairs and rediscover all the muscles it takes to go downstairs. Yeah, that happens. It reminds me of that one time me and Auntie Nina went hiking a flat top, the majestic mountain in Alaska. You can let go of me now. Thank you. And then we went over to our cousin's house. And you know what we did? We walked up their stairs and we didn't want to go back down. But we did. You want peanut butter bread? Sound good? Okay. Yeah, that's your hijack. You want peanut butter bread? You want peanut butter toast? You want a toast? Okay. Let's toast it. Let's toast it today. I'm feeling crazy and incredibly nauseous. It's so great when you like run and you put in all of your breath and all of your effort and then when you're done there's just nothing left. I was doing sit-ups and I might have used the wrong muscles because what I have left does not work. I'm done. Your toast is cooking. Let's get you started on Not those. Get the dogs fed. Let's stop your toes from burning like it's succeeding in doing. Oh my gosh. Let's ignore the fact I dropped it on the floor because it launched up too high. Let's take this shirt off because it's The guy who had a full meal, full breakfast, someone had eggs for breakfast, so that came up. Someone had a bowl of cereal, and if you have any kind of dairy before stuff like that, you're done. It's over. You know, Zuri, I'm really just thinking about leaving you here to take a shower. But would I ever do that? Fetch the dogs. I'll read. You do not get food. Dog tree, you get food. Let's go. Ari chose not to eat breakfast, so she does not get what remains on Missouri's tray. Dog tree did eat her food, so she can have the rest of what remains. It'd be really funny if Ayla came home and just saw this whole setup. Ayla's at a dentist point. Why'd you push it, weirdo? At that dentist appointment, she cannot watch Zuri. So I am watching Zuri, and the options were either take Zuri to work or get ready for work and wait until Ayla gets back.
which I have no problem with. Because they're manipulating our schedules. If your mechanic says that something is a priority, don't change it and say something else is a priority. Because that just messes everything up, and now we're working on something we don't need to work on. So, whatever. I'll go get you another shirt. You dirtied your shirt! That's where I'm going. And to get baby wipes, because you have peanut butter just, just a little bit right there. Just a little bit. And then, I mean, maybe some there too. But mostly there. Should I shave? I can't grow facial hair. So no. Have I said that I'm pretty sure this house is haunted before? I think I might have. Definitely saying it now. Uh, we have the Joffrey activity count at eight on the fridge. Uh, let's see if I can recall all of the moments. Uh, other than banging on pipes and stuff. Uh, I think the most significant activity we've seen is the elf on the shelf, right? It was next to the TV. We're watching TV and it just falls off. No one's near it. Dasha jumps off of her couch right here and goes to investigate. And she, she doesn't touch it. She goes and sniffs around it and then it moves yeah. across the room. Not like, like someone's pushing it, but like someone's dragging it across the floor and then they stop. That's probably the most significant thing we've ever seen. I keep grabbing the baby wipe, but I'm trying to take off your shirt. Arms up. Up, 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 <laughs> I got all of the peanut butter off. Um, another one. I had... Okay, you're not gonna like this. Oh, I know it's horrible. That's horrible. I know, I know. Another one that I found kind of crazy is... I have desk lights. And they go along the perimeter of the desk that I made. Stop playing with it, it's got peanut butter on it. And I plugged it into the wall, and I turned it off. I turned everything off. Everything that's up there off. And uh, there's like the PlayStation TV, the wall lights, or the, the desk lights, they're all plugged in a different socket. And I turned all that stuff off, but the power strips were on. And from where it is, the desk, you can see if, the, if any lights are on from downstairs, because it shines across at the top of the stairs on the wall so you can see it from the big couch right over there and we're sitting there and I look up and I see them turn on and they're going through all the colors and then as I walk up there it stops going through all the colors and it goes from my favorite color which is green which you can't do without a remote a special remote it went to green and it started flashing it went off on off, on, off, on, and it kept doing that. Uh, sometimes we hear footsteps, and yeah, the walls are kind of thin, so you can kind of hear the neighbors, but it's different from inside this part. So, dude, it literally just sounds like someone has shoes on. Oh, the stairs. Uh, every time we go up the stairs, they squeak. Every time you come down the stairs, they squeak. There's no way to sneak past that. There's no way to memorize which one it is because it's all of them. They all squeak. And in the middle of the night, we'll hear the stairs squeaking. But there's no one on them. They only squeak when there's a weight on them. You wanna let the puppies in? Where are the puppies? Where's Dachi? You wanna let her in? When she learns how to open doors, we're gonna be in trouble. Laura, what kind of head that's gonna stay down? What kind of head that you're not gonna want? I literally just opened the fridge. Go away. You want an apple? There, take it. Go away. I passed the PT test. I did the math. So, it would be great to celebrate with, um, uh, a pizza. Closest thing to monster, leave me alone. I'm not out of the monster, there's some upstairs in my office mini fridge. 
But um, if you have too much caffeine, like on a daily basis, it's not breakfast, but sure. No, I lied. Do we have milk? No, we don't, because someone drank it all. Fine, this is breakfast. So, while I can have Monster, it's probably best I don't, because if you have too much caffeine, that... Hello? Stop it, it was you that time. See, that was easy. Oh, another paranormal activity count, Joffrey. That's what I named him, because he's an asshole and he probably deserved it. She was in her kennel. Let me just, let me just show you. Daughtry was in her kennel, right? And I can hear her growling. So I come down the stairs, and I'm standing right here, in relation to her kennel, right there, in the corner, right, right, right there. And I hear her growling, and I'm like, Daughtry, what, what's wrong? And she's staring at me, and she's growling, but she's not growling at me, she's growling at something behind me. And it's right, right here. So this, this is the front door, closet, bathroom. And she's growling right here. And then it moves into the bathroom and then it's gone. And then she stops growling and goes back to sleep. That was another thing. What was I saying? Right, if you have too much caffeine, your body stops producing that, the, the chemicals stuff, you know, Ask Nina what it's called, but your body won't be able to produce it on its own anymore. It's just relying on like Monster and Nos and Bang, which I don't drink anymore because I only have an hour of energy before I crash and it hurts when I crash. Plus it's after the PT test, so it's probably best to drink water all day. Probably best. I'm not going to, but yeah. One more thing before I just game until Ellie gets here. I've been playing... The Mega Millions. Neither of these won. Actually, there's one number that matches. Wait, 61. I think it was 54. Or 46. 46 right there, yeah. But that does not match, so there's only one number that matches, and it's not an important one. So I've been playing the Mega Millions, and I've only won. I think the most I've won is probably like 20 bucks. It's the most I've won. And I'm thinking maybe there's a way to cheat this. But there isn't a way to cheat it because everything just sits in, um... Why are you, why are you crossing your arms? Why you got attitude? They sit in the cage and you spin it and all the balls that are in it, the uh, ping pong ball things that have numbers on them, they just go against each other and then he picks it out. Now while that system can be corrupted, it hasn't been. Because no one's won. It just went up because no one, no one won. It went up to $340 million. And I keep playing this because if I can win that, I mean, that's not even the take home. What's the take home? It's got to be like $200 million. Like, what? The high three. High. Okay, so, um, as of Friday, this Friday, 13th, it's $340 million, and after taxes and all that stuff, you get, oh, what? Still over a million dollars, okay? So it says, in cash, you get $230 million, $800,000. And you get that a lump sum, but you lose 55 million, so you get 175 million. Uh. I hate taxes so much. Your net payout is 175 million four hundred eight thousand dollars. Stop touching the crown. Do you see that face? Do you see that face? That is the face of guilt. With that, not if I win, I will win. When I win, this second book has to get published. I'm gonna hire a good team of editors to go through it and make sure the transition from the first book to the second book is good. I may have to take 
the first book from the publishing company that I've already taken it from, or given it to, and give it to this other one. Because this other one, I think, is significantly better. That's one. Two, I'm going to build a house. Yeah, I know, it's a great idea. I keep looking at this office, this small office, and this desk that I've built. That's, I mean, it holds stuff. It's holding a 42-inch TV right now. <laughs> and a couple printers and my laptop. So I'd say that's a win in that. I'm going to build a house. I keep looking at this office, the small office, and I'm trying to rearrange it, but it's small. And there's a lot of really dumb designs. Like that closet over there is half. Half of it is a closet. It's got two doors. One actually opens to a closet, the other opens to a wall. So if I can knock that down, I would. That would change a lot, have a lot more room. So if I can just build a house and do that, that'd be pretty cool. And then, I'm going to pay someone back. Now if you know who I'm talking about, and I'm talking about you, do not argue with me on this. I will be back. It's not that I actually owe you money, but it's like, thanks. Great thanks. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Um, but the next time, this quick pick, I did look up, because I am trying to cheat. It's not working. There's no way to cheat this system. There is, but you gotta, like, pay the guy spinning the thing money. He's gotta write down numbers that you have on your slip. A lot of stuff that goes through it, and I'm pretty sure all of it is checked before... What? You want this? So destructive, child. I'm pretty sure all of it's checked before they actually do the thing, or they like keep changing people throughout it. But this, the quick pick, it doesn't work. Overall odds, one in 24, including break-even prices. Grand prize odds are one in 302 million. Now, I looked up and I found out that that chance gets better. Those odds get better if you don't do quick pick. Quick pick is what they call the lazy way. You have to write in your numbers. And if I can find some sort of pattern, I've already found several different patterns in the recent drawings and I need to pick them all. And they find out how it works. Anyways, that's all the time we got for this episode. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I went straight for this. I keep forgetting my own outro. Thanks for watching. I'm King Lucid, signing off. Say bye. Bye.